I don't walk past people before and they they laughing and I'm like, what y'all laughing at? I'm sharp. Like, I look good. I look dead ass good. How you? What are you laughing at? Yo, what's up? It's Gunner, and this is my style history with GQ. Right here, I was at my album release for DS Forever. Top is Combo Digger Song Blaze I bought out of Maxfield. The under is just a white Prada shirt. I wore some Givenchy like slacks. I wore slacks. It wasn't like a set. It wasn't a set suit. And then I got the P hat on. And P is me. You know, simply I'm a I'm a walking P. Pushing P is 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 what we doing. We push P. P itself is like it's simply player, but it's also it's something that you're doing. Like say like I came today and I'm doing an interview with GQ. Like that's pushing P. Like GQ been known for styling. Like and I'm a style god, so it's just like. Y'all standing on styles right now. We, we pushing P to the fullest. And it's like a lifestyle now. <laughs> Is that a sticker on your glasses? Yes. I was already pushing P this day. Got the Dior top turtleneck. Got the Rick on vest up under it. Black Louis shorts. And then the shoes is Rick on. It's the high top joints. You know what I'm saying? The ones you can wear with shorts. It went semi-viral. People like, it's like, kind of like trying to clown me and like make jokes about the outfit I had on. How does it feel when you see these comments about yours? I be laughing at them too. It'd be funny, like, you took the time out your day to do this. You could have did anything else better with your life. You had nothing else to do. <laughs> Two months later, Riri dressing like me. Happy Halloween. And now everybody in the world thinks this outfit is fire. I guess Riri had to let him know that. Who told you about reposting the photo? Riri told me. When Riri broke, hit the internet, that's when I, when I figured out, oh, Riri been in my closet. Because the first, she posted the shoes and she posted like the gunners. And I'm like, she can't be talking about me. One of my friends like, bro, she's talking about you. Now she at me in the shoes like, the gunners. Now I'm like, what you got going on? Is you trying to be funny like everybody else? You feel me? Like you got jokes too? And then she posted a picture. She posted the whole, the three pictures. That alone lets you know like, I was on one. Yeah, I was on two. I think he okayed it. Cause me and Rocky cool. Me and him be on the same time. Like we just, we, we some peas, we players. Every time I see him, it's player time. This look was like, give it there, give it here. Like I was buying and putting stuff together a lot. Around that time, I remember where like, I kind of started getting money from music. I had some Saint Laurent pants. These was like the hardest Saint Laurent pants to have. They was leather and they had zippers on them, like right by the knee. Top, I can't really remember, but I had a nice black leather jacket to go on top of that. I remember getting those Gucci shoes though. And just came out with like that type of style. I was really like, on a lot of Gucci then, I remember. Animal prints on top of the Gucci. I had the Chrome Heart glasses on too, cheetah print. And we got a young gunner with a fro too. Tell me about the fro era. I was that hungry gunner, like I eat anybody in the world gunner right then and that gap. Yeah. This photo is from 2018. That was a real big year for me. But I dropped drip harder with me and baby. I became like a worldwide star, you know? This picture, we performed at the BET Awards. Drip too hard. I had a Prada shirt on with the Fendi overalls. Stella McCartney shoes. Got it on, drip that. With the overalls, it was very different, especially at the time. It's my first BET Awards performance, you know, so I had to set a tone. And who's flyer here? You were baby. Baby looked good though. He, he got he got the Chanel vest on, Chanel sneakers, you know? It's cool, but I still won. Like even like around this time, I remember where like we did a photo shoot and we had the same pants on without even trying like, but it was a Mary Snake pants. I was buying a lot of Cartier's then. Right here in this The Gap, I was diamond Cartier's. Had a tennis chain here where I only wanted tennis chain. Who's the king of drip? Me. And did you coin the word drip? Like drip came from me trying to use another word instead of swag. Cause we used to be swag and used to have flav too. We used to even say swaver, like swag and flavor. Mm -hmm. Like you had to know. If you know, you know. Like you That's had to be true. from Atlanta to know like Swaver and like futuristic, like black boy, white boy, sweat. And then you started to just drip. Like now we dripping, now we spilling. Like it just, it was another era from instead of sweat. I was in Paris 2019. Was this your first Paris Fashion Week? Yes, it was. I did a fashion show for Casablanca. 
It was a Casablanca jumpsuit, peach pea coat player. Then I had red bottoms on, all white, red bottoms. Comfy. Was that your first time walking for a runway show? Yeah. I mean, he he reached out while, while I was down there, you know, and I was familiar with the brand already. So like, when he reached out, like, yo, see if Gunner would be interested, I most definitely was interested. I pulled up on him the day before the show was to mm -hmm. kind of just get everything fit, fitted and situated. This photo is for Louis Vuitton. Virgil dressed me, God bless the dead. They sent me maybe like two or three jackets and then like two or three different pants and a pair of shoes to kind of like pick, like if you want to wear this one or this one. I like what they gave me. All of them was pieces. It's a Louis Vuitton trench jacket, like raincoat, blue and purple. Then I got a purple Louis Vuitton bucket on. Everything else is just all white, all white. When you're looking for a hat, what kind of catches your eye? When I'm looking for a hat, it got to either caught my attention or I know it's going to go with something. I ain't really too tough on just buy a hat just because I see it. This look for Speed T Awards 2019. The outfit itself is Rick Owens, the jacket, the pants, the shoes are Prada, the glasses Rick also. This outfit really wasn't about the outfit, it was about the Birkin. Me just coming out with that big 50, letting people know like I'm in that bag, that Birkin bag. Also dropped the video for Baby Birkin. Were all of those Birkins in the video yours? Yeah, was like half and half. Some of them was purchased and some of them was rented. And the one that was purchased, I kind of gave them out to like special people. Would you say you started a Birkin trend in hip hop? I would say I brought it back. I didn't start it. It was already a thing. But like for my generation, I brought it back. Mm -hmm. Especially like for a man, because you don't really see men in a big parking 50 CM bag. Like they ain't even just two trillion, just knowing like, you know what I'm saying? So I for sure was created that. This picture is a party for YouTube. It was in Atlanta. I had on a Stella McCartney outfit. On top of it was a Mason Margiela Pico poncho type. How did growing up in Atlanta impact your style? Atlanta breed diamonds, you know? Like, we create. This is where I get, like, a lot of my inspiration from. This look, I also did Louis Vuitton fashion show from Virgil Past. You won't see, like, anybody in it. It's a statement piece to me. I got a Louis Vuitton poncho, a Louis Vuitton khaki shorts, green Louis Vuitton socks. The bag in my hand is, like, it's the shape of a cup, but it's also a bag, too. I just had maybe like little snack candy in there. What kind of impact did Virgil have on your style work? It's a lot of stuff that he made that was like future. People wouldn't know why it's fire right now, but Tom would. They know he's the future. Like he's seeing stuff before it came. Tell me about this look in one word. Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> they told me that Queen Elizabeth was finna buy this jacket, but she hadn't made it up there yet to Miami. So I said, I get it, I take it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm very fond of Queen Elizabeth. I take it. The pants was suede Saint Laurent and the shoes was morning loafers. You know what I'm saying? Grown. This video, me, Doug, Duke. This outfit came from H. Lorenzo. I had my shoes of Lorene. Yeah, I had it on this day too. And you and Thug, what were the conversations around styling for the video? We always just go like yin yang. Type. If you wear like a suit, I'm gonna wear a suit, but it's a different color. Like, play off of that with videos. Just so it won't look tacky. I'm performing at Wireless in London. My mama back there somewhere on the stage. Chrome Heart Pants just came out that day in London. I'm pushing P this day for sure. And them pants probably like resale right now, maybe like 7,800. I ain't even know what to pay that. Shirt was spider. The vest is spider. The bucket spider. The grand. The jacket actually came from a girl from New York. She she live out here. Her bare scarf hanging out the bottom, dripping. Yeah. But see, this was a default though. I had to wear them by, by force, not choice. I wanted white Air Force ones, but I couldn't find them. They didn't have any more sizes in, in London. So I had to wear these, pulled it off. This day I did something very, very special. I went to my junior high school. I opened a grocery store for a kid who parents like, you know, got a hard time and can't always afford certain things sometimes. Food and toiletries and different clothing, just freedom, all uh, free. That's pushing P right there. Like when you get back and you stand on it and you do it from the heart, that's pushing P.
The shoes are McQueen. The socks are Capital Elite's top. The black dicky shorts. What kind of makes you wear shorts or pick shorts for an outfit? Tatted, trying to show off my tattoos. That's the only reason why I'm wearing shorts, just like, so you can just see, just see off my tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> this fit has been copied by basketball players. This fit has been copied by football players. This fit has been copied by rappers. And how do you feel about that? I feel absolutely fine. But don't laugh and don't act like I ain't the drip guy. I don't go up on your comments and say, hey, you look like me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just when you see me with my outfits, I'm just like them because you know you, you might want to try another day. You know what I'm saying? Try to act like I ain't do it. Describe this for me in one word. Trippy, drippy. I got it on. I still ain't seen nobody wear this outfit. I ordered it from overseas. I was like one of the first to be hip to the men marine. It's a woman's brand that they had men's also. So when I popped out with it, it was, it was like, damn, I ain't, we didn't even know men had that look, you know? It's a statement. This is a fit, the jacket, the boots, the hat. It's all Virgil Louis Vuitton, and it's Virgil Nico and Louis Vuitton. It was my brother Mark's birthday that day. I just stepped out, I had to put it on. The boots matched the jacket, got a duck on them. Brown leather pants, cutting the jewelry, my shady baby piece on. Like this, but I got it on a different cube and this is shorter. I went shorter that day. My YSL pendant. Uh, give me final words for, words for uh, you know, looking up to you and how you like style Wear exactly what you want to wear. You can dress like me, I don't mind. But do what you like, you know, like make sure you put your twist on it, put your touch on it, and style how you want. And when somebody talk about you, try to give you discredit for the outfit. Don't take it personal because they might not know style, you know? They might not know. I don't walk the past people before and they they laughing and I'm like, what y'all laughing at? I'm sharp. Like, I look good. I look dead ass good. How you what are you laughing at? So it be it be those type of people, you know. So I would tell you don't worry about it, just just keep dripping.